Welcome back everybody. Today I'm testing out a product called the Yummy Can Potatoes. It's an as seen on TV product that supposedly allows you to make perfect baked potatoes in the microwave. I'm also going to compare that to an older as seen on TV product, well actually a knockoff of one called the Potato Express, which was popular about 10 years ago. And I'm going to do my favorite technique, the old paper towels. I'm going to try all three of them and see how this one stacks up. So let's get started in today's video. Let's first take a quick look back at the unboxings and see how that went. All right, let's take a look at the yummy canned potatoes. I paid 20 bucks for this direct from the website. Got some instructions, gonna read these over carefully. All right, it's a pretty unassuming, just generic plastic dish, it seems like. But they say you can enjoy perfectly cooked potatoes in minutes. Potatoes will be tender on the outside while fluffy and steaming hot on the inside. According to the commercial and even the packaging, they say the secret is a patent pending valve that creates a steam pocket and the raised base, where's the raised base? I guess that's the raised base. Let's heat circulate for even cooking, does the job right, delivering perfect potatoes in minutes. Currently it's a number one new release on Amazon and out of stock. The website says it's being discontinued, but I'm gonna get to that later because I'm not sure I believe it. Just to place potatoes in there, Close it up and nuke it. This is what I'd call a Potato Express knockoff. I paid $8.99 for a two pack of these. By the way, the Amazon ratings are pretty good for this. 4.5 star rating, over 4,000 ratings. It even says Potato Express on there. They didn't take the old logo off. That's hilarious. According to the uh, Amazon listing, you can create perfect potatoes in four to six minutes, depending on the size. Made of 100% polyester, machine washable, reusable. Makes one to four potatoes. To Again, depending on the size. Now the original Potato Express was around 2013, so it's been a while. I don't really see them much anymore, so I had to go with this knockoff, although this one is highly rated. All you're supposed to do is place potatoes in there, and put in the microwave. All right, before I get started, a quick note about the Yummy Can brands here. Now there was a Yummy Can bacon product that was advertised in late 2021. I ordered it immediately. I thought I'm gonna get a jump on this one. Well, I got a card from them a few months later that said, it was discontinued, so we're not gonna we're not gonna send you one. Which is fine because I understand that that's how test marketed products work. But I was kind of surprised a little while after that that my friend Kathy showed up on YouTube with a video reviewing the yummy can bacon, and I saw it in stores after that. So I guess it wasn't really discontinued. I just didn't get one. And the reason I'm saying that now is because I noticed on their website, even though this is advertising in September 2022. The Yummy Can Potatoes website saying it's being discontinued, but I don't believe them. I'm gonna go under the assumption that it's not being discontinued based on my Yummy Can bacon experience. So I read the instructions over, there really isn't much to it. All it basically does is say stick a potato in there, close it up, and nuke it according to the chart. Now it, the instructions don't say to poke holes in the potato, which I've always done. I'm gonna poke holes in it. If for some reason it doesn't turn out right, I'll try it again without poking holes. But let's get started first up with the Yummy Can Potatoes. I've got this nice, beautiful potato here. It's been washed off. I'm gonna poke a few holes in here on each side. Holes are poked. Not that the instructions are very complicated, but let's look them over anyways. Step one, unsnap the right and left locks. Step two, using the handles, remove the lid. Simple enough. Place one to three washed potatoes in the base. Place the steam lid back on. Lock it in place. Place in the microwave according to the chart. I have a 1000 watt microwave. I'm doing one potato, so it says six minutes minimum, eight minutes maximum. I'll put it in six and see how it goes. Good luck. Six minutes and we're off. And here we go. All right, well, the handles are not hot. That's a good thing. Now we're supposed to let it sit for two minutes before we can actually take it out of there and see what happens. We are at two minutes. All right, well, it looks like a potato. Let's, uh, let's try popping this open and see what happens. There definitely is moisture in the bottom, so hopefully these are nice, moist potatoes. Because this is an ASEAN TV product, I'm gonna pull out the old hot hands to protect my hands while opening this up. All right, well, the fork's going in there perfectly. That's nice. Let's see if we can pop this open now. Oh, yeah. All right, I would say that it came out pretty nicely, very flaky. Normally I put some butter on here first, but let me just taste it and see how it actually came out. 
All right, I've got to give it credit. That's a very nice potato. It came out perfect, flaky, hot and fluffy inside. I got no complaints about it. Now let's see how the others do in comparison. All right, let's try my fake Potato Express here. These have been around for a while. They seem to be pretty popular, although I'm not sure why the original disappeared and you have all these knockoffs out there. Look at the comments though. People kind of swear by these. So let's shove a potato in there and get started. I have a washed potato. The instructions just say to place one to four potatoes in there. There's no way four of these big ones would fit in there. They said cook for four minutes, remove it and enjoy. That's it. That's The instructions say four, but that can't be accurate for all types of potatoes or all sizes. So I'm going to go six because six worked well with the last potato. Let's do that. Once again, I'm going to poke some holes in there. I just feel like that's the best way to cook potatoes in the microwave. Inserting it into the fake potato express. Just stick it in there. All right. And we're off. Good luck, fake potato express. Bailey smells some potatoes. She's just waiting, hoping something drops. I hear a sizzling. How hot is the bag? The bag is, that bag's pretty hot. I'm just gonna grab by this little strap right here. It's pretty warm. The back of the bag, there's actually moisture. You can see it's kind of a, a wet spot covering most of the bottom of it. All right, I'm just gonna let this rest for a minute and then we're gonna open it up. All right, here we go, let's see. All right, it feels done, that's good. I'm gonna have to hot hands this one, okay. Is this one as moist as the first one? Uh, let me see. It, I can't really tell, I guess I gotta taste it. Taste test of the fake Potato Express. Hmm. Let me pull a yummy can back out here. Hmm. This one is actually drier than the yummy can potatoes. So for me right now, the yummy can potatoes is in the lead. I think the fake potato express did perfectly fine, but this one just did a little bit better. Let's try the El Cheapo paper towel technique and see how that works. This is the way I've always done it in the microwave. One washed potato that's been poked six times with a fork. A damp paper towel. I'm gonna roll it up. Now the way I do it is I put it in about six minutes and flip halfway through. So that's how I'm gonna do it here. All right, and we're off. Now that does not feel quite done. We go one more minute. And there we go. Needs more time. All right, it's gotta be it now. Eight minutes, gotta be it. All right, so as with the others, I'm gonna let this one rest for just a little bit and then try popping it open and see how it goes. It took two more minutes than the others. It's a little bit fatter maybe, so I don't know. Definitely done. All right, my hot hands are not very dexterous, but I did it. Look at Bailey down there. She wants some. It seems flaky. I don't know, let's see how dry it is because uh, sometimes looks are deceiving. Let's try the taste test. Hmm. I would say the paper towel is in between the baked potato express and the yummy cam potatoes. So based on this particular test, I would say number three is the potato express. Not bad, not as good as the others. Number two would be the paper towels, although it took two minutes longer than the others. And shockingly, number one is the potentially discontinued yummy can potatoes. I do wanna try one more test of the yummy can potatoes before I wrap this thing up. Now the yummy can potato says it can hold up to three potatoes, but look at this, I mean, there, Two fills it up. There's no way I can fit a third one in there. Maybe three small ones, but not three large ones. Here's, here's two large ones that fill the thing completely up. But I want to do two and see how they turn out. Maybe the first round was a fluke. Probably not, but let's see anyways. All right, as with the, all the others, I did six pokes in each one of these. Now for a thousand watts, they show two potatoes to be nine minutes is the minimum. The minimum worked good the last time. Let's try the minimum for this one. And we're off. Nine minutes. It's almost done, Bailey. You ready? And we're off. I'll let this rest two minutes per the instructions and then see how they look. Two minutes. Hot, hot. There is uh, some water in the bottom there. Okay, we have a nice pop here. All right, we, we are popping it open. Let's see how it looks. Here's the first baked potato. This one came out, it's pretty flaky, I think. How about this one? Not bad either. 
I would say these were as moist as the first round, but not quite as done. I probably could have gone an extra minute to make them perfect, but still pretty good job. All right, taking a look at the first round, I, I ate a little bit of this one. This was the Yummy Can Potatoes, Potato Express, Paper Towel. Not a huge difference, really. If I didn't tell you, you may not even be able to tell the difference. All right, so I will say that I think the Yummy Can Potatoes probably worked the best of all three of these. So I have to give it credit for that. But on the other hand, do you need a device this large that's 20 bucks for a single use? when something like this doesn't take up any extra space and doesn't really cost anything extra? In my opinion, I say no, but your mileage may vary. But if you've tried the Yummy Can Potatoes, the Potato Express, or the Paper Towel Technique, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.